Okay, so let's now just go through what we've got here on the um, expansion board too. So it's very similar to our previous one. So we still have the mechanical relays. These mechanical relays are still the um, same as before, 30 volts DC rated. And in this case, they're able to do five amps. Okay, and there's two of them. And that's the same as what we had previously on relay one and two. We've now swapped out the mechanical relays for three and four for solid state relays. Why have we done that? Solid state relays have an advantage over a mechanical one. Firstly, they're able to switch on and off without any fatigue. So there's no mechanical failure. The second thing is these are 60 volt rotors. So this is 60 volts, two amps. So this is able to switch all sorts of other loads that previously we didn't have a solution for. Solid state relays, which is quite, quite a unique circuit, they have to be wired carefully according to how a solid state relay is used or how a normal mechanical relay is used. Over here on the left hand side in the top, we've got the area which is MOSFETs. So in this particular case, we've got the supply power input. This supply power in is only required for these terminal contacts. If we're only running the relays down the bottom here, we don't need to provide any power to any of these pins. So if we're wanting to actually have switched positive power, we've got just a normal contactor, we can actually provide the power in through supply and back out through the output. So we've got there, which is our ground pin. And then we then have, for example, here, our output five. So output five there is matching our software output five. So as we have, be them circuit breakers or some of the latching contactors that they're able to do some state management. So in other words, when they switch on or they switch off, it actually has an output to tell us did it successfully switch on or off and we're able to use this uh, pin here so input 5 in this case is positively switched we use those for those latching contactors at the same time we also have another mirror set over here on the outputs here so this is output 7 and output 8 and then another input here input 6 but this one here is negatively switched which is the same as what we have here on the onboard watch one four output. So with these are negative switched, but we have now added a second set of negative switch. Power supply comes in through power and it's fed out here through these particular three pins. On top of that, we've got over here a five volt output and two inputs. And this is for a future requirement, which we haven't yet released. All right, the last part is we've got some inputs along the top here. So these inputs, there's input one, input two, input three, and input four. All those inputs, like they are for five and six, are used for us to connect the software to do certain things. So we can, in this case, be able to check that a latching contactor works, or we're able to have a switch so we can say turn the charging on or off or turn the discharge on and off. And so that these signals can tell the whole system to change its behavior in certain ways. But primarily this device at the moment is used for running a circuit breaker output to turn it off or a contactor or run a fan. And that's the most common uses we've got for this product. Okay, so for the expansion board, we quite regularly, when we're connected to other devices, need to make sure that what you're connected to is going to work properly. And doing this, we actually have a manual function for this where we can force the relay on or the relay off or any of the outputs. So let's go through that scenario. So here we go, edit. We come down to relay one. We go from where it was none previously to manually on. And we do the same thing for the purposes of just seeing some changes here on relay three. So let's press save. Okay, what you can see here is that the relays have now gone on and you can see the red LEDs for matching relay one and relay three have now gone on. Just to make sure that these functions work because some of them are mechanical, let's now go edit again and change the manually on to none and then relay for the same thing, relay three. So now we press save and we see that they go off. So this allows you to actually verify that the expansion work board is working properly and it also allows you to see that all your other circuits are acting the way you behave. After you've got them right, you change it from a manually on or off function to whatever the actual feature is that you want it to do. So see how these functions work for you.